Welcome to Spinelli Speaks. Hi everyone, Danny here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a book haul day. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. If you are new to my channel, you have not yet figured it out, or if you've done some backlogging, I am a huge thrifter. So when I buy my books, I buy from the thrift store. Unless there's a specific book that I have to buy on Amazon, I buy all of my books at thrift stores and I get amazing deals and I find some really awesome gems. So today I want to go through a book haul of books that I got at the thrift store while Laura from Book Bubbler was in town and I'm not sure if she has put up her book haul yet but we both got some amazing books and I you know I didn't buy as many as I usually do because I was letting Laura you know do her thing and Let's be honest, I really didn't need any more books. But anywho, I did get a ton of amazing books and I'm going to share them with you today. I think I ended up getting about 16 books and my final total was about 20 75 something like that. So I got a lot of great books and I even splurged on some books, which is so unlike me, but I just couldn't help myself. And you know what? Laura kind of twisted my arm a few times and said, come on, Danny, just buy it. Thanks, Laura, because I'm really excited about those books. So it was a good choice. So let's dive right on in. Um, I, like you all know, do not like movie covers. And I have been looking for the blind side, but all I keep finding is the movie cover with Sandra Bullock. So even though this says now a mo major motion picture, I'm okay with that because it is the book titled uh, cover as opposed to the movie cover. So I, um, as a teenager and, and really even now, I really love sports movies. I don't like sports themselves. Like I never watch sports um, except hockey. Uh, but I really do like sports movies. I like those underdog stories uh, and Blindside as a movie I really enjoyed a lot. So I'm really excited to be able to pick up the book and read this one. It even has some pictures in there. So first one is Blindside. I got it at Bethesda for 99 cents. Next. I love The Princess Bride. And in a haul a couple months ago, you saw that I did pick up The Princess Bride. I have not yet read it, but I love the movie. Like, love, love, love the movie. Me and my friend Bethy Ann used to quote it all the time. It's just so much fun. Guess what I found? As You Wish by Carrie Elwes. And he played, you know, the Black Pirate. Um, and... <sighs> I'm just so excited about this book. So this is called The Inconceivable Tales from the Making of the Princess Bride. So this is going to be really cool because it talks about the making of the movie and it has like all pictures from the movie as well. So this is one time where I just, I mean, I'm so excited to read this. This is going to be so exciting. I'm really excited. Can you, can you tell? 99 cents at Bethesda. Bethesda, by the way, is a local thrift shop, if you didn't know that. Then, because I love books about books, I found the Little Paris Bookshop. I don't know, have, has, it, has anyone read this? I'm not quite sure what it's about. Um, literary Apothecary, he has a floating bookstore on a barge. Okay, I don't even have to read anymore. I'm super stoked. This was 99 cents at St. Vincent de Paul. Super excited. And then... I have not yet read this author, but I have been trying to pick up a few of her uh, titles because I do want to get into it because I've heard so many good things, and that is Amy Tan. I do have Saving Fish from Drowning and The Hundred Something. I can't see it 
quite well. And this one is The Bone Setter's Daughter, which I've heard a lot of really good things about this one, and I've been trying to pick it up, but it's always been in hardcover, and it's always been way more than my budget, which, again, is like 99 cents. So I finally found this one, and this is one of those twist my arm things uh, from Laura, but this one was $2, so I have been looking for it. I have been searching for it, so I did splurge and got Amy Chan's The Bone Setter's Daughter. I have no idea what this is about, but it does say an absorbing tale of the mother-daughter bond. This book sings with emotion and insight, and that is from People Magazine. So it says Ruth Young and her widowed mother, Lu Ling, have always had a tumultuous relationship. Now before she succumbs to forgetfulness, Lu Ling gives Ruth some of her writings, which reveal a side of Lu Ling that Ruth has never known. Oh, I have no idea. It's sounding very interesting. So yeah, I want to be able to read that. So I picked it up, $2 a splurge, and that's okay. Then, as you all know, I love a good retelling, and I found this and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do this again because it'll be so funny. And y'all loved my uh, my uh, Jane Eyre Laid Bear rapid review. So I thought, why not do it again? And I found Wuthering Heights, an erotic retelling of Wuthering Heights. Let's see if this one is, I mean, I just don't know why people have to drive so ridiculous down this road. I mean, it's like, <sighs> anywho, I mean, if this is as bad as Jane Eyre Laid Bear, it's going to be a really good rapid review. I figured, though, for 75 cents, I can go ahead and buy this. Now, this will force me to finally get through Weathering Heights. I have tried reading Weathering Heights, like, four times. Four times. And every time, I just go, I can't, it's, I can't get into this book. So I keep putting it down. This, on the other hand, is going to make me read it because I have to read that before I can read this because otherwise I won't, won't know what this is all about. And then I will give you all a rapid review. So I'm excited for this. Really weirdly enough, but excited nonetheless. Then, because I always like to pick up a good classic, I picked up the autobiography of Benjamin Franklin. Now, I am not a big fan of these Dover thrifts, but for 50 cents, I, ha I had to. I've not ever seen this out in the thrift store, and I was really interested because I have heard things about this, uh, and I think it's been mentioned. I know we had an excerpt that we had to read in one of my American literature courses, um, so I would really like to be able to read the full piece. Uh, so. I'm, I'm, I went ahead and bought it for 50 cents uh, and want to read it. The reason why I don't like the Dover Thrift editions is because there are literally no footnotes. There's nothing to help you as a reader. And I'll admit it, sometimes I need help. So I'll take my chances with this one for 50 cents and see where I get. Then, because I love this author, another I would consider classic author, um, I found Till We Have Faces, A Myth Retold by C.S. Lewis. I really like C.S. Lewis. I read all of the Chronicles of Narnia. I would really like to get into his other work. Um, ever since I read Becoming Mrs. Uh, Lewis, um, which is the story of him and uh, Joy... Oh, I can't remember her last name, but they end up uh, getting married. Spoiler alert. Uh... I have been really interested in him as a whole, and that story really develops in a, in a place of him writing some of his other works besides the Chronicles of Narnia. So I would really be interested in finding out more about his other work. This one it says, in this timeless tale of two mortal princesses, one beautiful and one unattractive, C.S. Lewis reworks the classical myth of Cupid and Psyche into an enduring piece of contemporary fiction. That is really appealing to me because I love mythology and I want to get into more C.S. Lewis. So hey, perfect pairing. Excited for only 99 cents from Goodwill. I mean, you can't go wrong. Then, oh my gosh, I just like, the movie cover thing was just awesome. Again, I have been looking for the life of Pi. It feels like for a lifetime. I saw the movie and did not 
get it. I mean, I got, got it, but I feel like it would have been so much better within a book. So I have been searching, combing the thrift stores for this book, and all I ever find is the darn movie cover. I finally found The Life of Pi without the movie cover. And look at this, winner of the Man Booker Prize. Didn't know that. And 99 cents. I'm so excited. And you guys, these are in really great condition, all of these books that I get. So if you have a local thrift store, I don't know why you're not going there and picking up some awesome books. Next, I don't know what drew me to this book, but it looks really fascinating. It's Chez Mui, maybe? I don't know. It sounds French. Agnes Destarthy? I have no idea. I'm looking at this, though, and it looks like a movie cover. Does anyone know what this is? Is this a book? Is this a movie? Is this the movie cover? Because if it's the movie cover, I might have to take it somewhere else. But this says, at 43, Miriam has been a wife, a mother, and a lover, but never a restaurateur. When she opened Siege Mui, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm just trying to give it a French accent. <laughs> she has no idea how to run a business. She knows only how to cook. Barely able to pay rent, she lives in this sparse uh, restaurant uh, while struggling to come to terms with her troubled past. In time, her delectable cuisine brings her many neighbors to Chez Mui. I did it again. Uh, and with their help, Miriam realizes she may get a second chance at life and love after all. It's a really tiny book. And for 99 cents at Goodwill, I thought I would just pick it up, find out if I liked it. And if I didn't, I would re-thrift it. Okay, on to the next one. Another retelling that I found, and this one is uh, a retelling of one of my favorite classics by Jane Austen, which is Pride and the Prejudice. Which is Pride and the Prejudice, and this one is called A Weekend with Mr. Darcy. It says the course of true love never does run smooth when Jane Austen makes the rules, and this is by uh, Victoria Conley. It's a cute cover. Um, it just says surrounded by the appalling exes and fawning students, the only thing keeping Professor Catherine Roberts sane is Jane Austen and her per uh, personal secret love for racy Regency romance novels. She thinks that. She thinks the Jane Austen Addicts Conference in the English countryside is the perfect opportunity to escape her chaotic life and finally relax. But then she encounters a devilishly handsome man at the conference who seems determined to sweep her off her feet. Is he more fiction than fact? Or could he be the hero she didn't know she was looking for? Oh, well, that sounds smart. Like, I, I don't mind reading that. Probably a pretty quick read and something that'll be um, pretty nice. So I'll go ahead and try that. And as we continue down the classics train, I found this whopper of a book uh, for 99 cents. It is Charles Dickens' Bleak House. Now, I know there are mixed reviews about Charles Dickens, whether or not he is a good writer and if his stories are any good, but I gotta tell you, I really enjoy reading classics. I have not yet read any of Charles Dickens. I have Tale of Two Cities. I have Great Expectations, I have A Christmas Carol, and now I have Bleak House. So I'm just going to collect all of his books and then maybe at some point I'll read them. This looks horrible because it's huge and the words are tiny. But you know what? At some point I'm going to get to this. Ooh, Laura, is this our next year-long read-along? I don't know. We'll see. I think we already said no to that one. Then I found this one in near mint condition. Again, for 99 cents, I have a uh, red wall. Now, if you have read this, let me know. This is a very popular series. That's all I know about it. It is the first book in this series and it's about a mouse, I think. I mean, I'm not quite sure, but we got a little map. Now, I, and I think this is like fantasy, but see, I love when there are series with multiple books, so I really want to read this and find out if this is my thing. So when I found this one for 99 cents, I was like, heck yeah, time for a new series. So if you have read this, let me know and let me know what your thoughts were. Okay, we're almost done. This one, I couldn't believe it. If you have seen, I uh, had some subscriber recommendations and 
was recommended this book and I gave it five stars and I about lost my cool at the thrift store. Laura was in a different aisle and I screamed and I was like, oh my gosh, the Serpent King, they have the Serpent King. And guys, it was only $1.49. This book was so good. And again, it's not for everyone, but it really touched my heart and I really, really liked it. It was so, so good. Um, it's a coming of age story about three teenagers who are best friends and it is just so gripping, so true. And uh, I just really enjoyed it. So I was so happy to find it for myself. Um, it's hardcover, $1.50. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. So excited to find that. Only a few left. <clears throat> if you saw in a different haul, uh, my mother had lent me this book, and this one is 13 Rue Therese, I think. It's a novel. Um, I found it at Goodwill for 99 cents, and I figured when I was looking at the book that my mom had lent me, I was like, wow, this looks really fascinating. Like, I'm going to want to keep this. So now I found one for myself, so I can give my mom back her copy, and then we'll both have one. I'm really excited. This book looks really interesting and I'm going to read the back real quick. It says uh, Trevor Stratton discovers a box full of artifacts from World War I as he settles into his new office in Paris. The pictures, letters, and objects in the box relate to a life of Louise Brunette, a feisty charming French woman who lived through both world wars. So in the book too there are pictures of the artifacts that he is referring to and it just looks so fascinating. Like I'm really excited to dive into this. So now I'm really excited that I have my own copy and I can give my mom back her copy and then she can enjoy it alongside with me. So this is uh, a great find for 99 cents at Goodwill. Okay this one isn't for me but I found it at it looks like Goodwill for 99 cents and thought I would pick it up for my uh, soon-to-be stepdaughter. It is James Patterson's Maximum Ride but it's a graphic novel. So it's in a graphic novel style as opposed to the written novel. Um, she's gonna love this. She loves like anime stuff and this looks very Japanese. Um, and it features a really strong female character. So um, hello, why not? She loves graphic novels. So this is what I picked up for her. She's probably going to love it. Pat myself on the back. For 99 cents I could will. Yeah, I'm that good. And then the most amazing find, another twist of my arm. I literally put it back on the shelf, grabbed it, put it back on the shelf, grabbed it, put it back on the shelf. And finally I was like, nope, I will never find this. I'll have to pay the extra money. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I really enjoy Jurassic Park. <laughs> I think I watch Jurassic Park like once a week. Like I'm obsessed with the Jurassic Park movies. Like more so the original movies like Jurassic Park Lost World and Jurassic Park 3 is okay. And I do really like the um, new movies. I've only seen the first one but I just love Jurassic Park. It's so good. I found the book. I want to read this duology, so the first one being Jurassic Park and the second being Lost World by Michael Crichton. I've never read Michael Crichton before and I know he gets really scientific, which is not my jam. But it has dinosaurs in it! I freaking love dinosaurs! I don't know why. I love Jurassic Park so much. <laughs> so I want to read this next year. I paid this I paid $3.99 for this book. It's in near mint condition. I splurged. I splurged for a book that I knew that because I wanted to read it next year, I would have to add gone to Amazon. I probably would have paid like seven bucks. So $3.99. I just was like, just bite the bullet and do it. So I'm really excited to read this. Um, I hope that it lives up to my expectations because I love Jurassic Park. I love Jurassic Park. I love it. I love it. Anywho, that was my best find of the day. Very, 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 very excited. So, have you read any of these books? Have you gotten a good deal like this recently? 
I can't wait to see Laura's haul because I was with her when she bought all of her books but I can't recall all the books that she got so it'll be like a fresh haul for me and I'll be really excited to see what she ended up getting because she definitely got I think double the amount of books that I got. So for all of these books again I think there were like 16 books here and it was about in the $20 mark is what I ended up paying. So I mean seriously people pay $20 for one book. I think I did pretty good. So again, if you are new here and you've made it all the way to the end, congratulations. Did you like that? Do you do you haul books as well? Are you as collective as I am? Do you go to the thrift store? P.S. You don't have to go to a used bookstore to get used books. Go to your local thrift stores. Goodwill, Bethesda's. Um, there's also St. Vincent de Paul in my area. If you have Habitat for Humanity restores, People drop off books there as well. Rummage sales. You guys, there are so many opportunities to find thrift stores, or thrifted books, and I know we want to try to give those authors their due. Absolutely. Don't get me wrong. There are books that I will buy new. Very rarely, but sometimes. The way I give back is I review books for you here and on Goodreads. There is different ways I can give back, but... There are a lot of places that if you are in a pinch and you really just want to find a good book, go to your local thrift store. So until next time, I hope you are reading something great. I hope you are taking care and staying safe. And you know how it goes. Happy reading. Bye.